Well, my dear viewers, have I got a story for you today. You say, growing up in Melbourne, Australia, I was always fascinated by the art of toasting bread. Little did I know that one fateful day, it would change my life forever. Oh, and speaking of toasting bread, have you ever tried using different types of butter? Some people swear by salted butter for that extra flavor kick, while others prefer unsalted for a more subtle taste. What do I use? You ask. Well, let me tell. Oh, and speaking of toasting bread, have you ever tried using different types of butter? Some people swear by salted butter for that extra flavor kick, while others prefer unsalted for a more subtle taste. Bye. You know what they say you can't make toast with just one slice of bread. Laughs, it's true though. I wouldn't be the toasty lady I am today without all my fellow VTubers supporting and inspiring me. Well, I do love to munch on toast in between streams, you know. Just keep my energy up for all the shenanigans we get into. Laugh so and did you hear about that time when I accidentally set off the fire alarm during a live stream? It was quite an adventure trying to explain what happened while gasping through the smoke. Oh, I absolutely adore getting into random debates with my viewers. It keeps things lively and helps me learn new perspectives on various topics. Who doesn't love a good argument over the best type of jam to spread on toast? Chuckles! Well, hello everyone. It's yours truly, the one and only toasted sensation Melba Toast. Today I have a delightful riddle for you all. What has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening? If you guessed a human. Oh dear me. It seems I got my wires crossed there. Let's try that again. So, have you ever wondered what I would look like as a burger? Well, let me introduce you to Burnt Melba, the crispy and slightly charred version of yours truly. Oh yes, I almost forgot to share one of my favorite jokes with you all today. Why did the toast go to space? because it wanted to become Cosmic Crispy. Alrighty then, let me share an interesting fact about myself with you all today. Did you know that my favorite type of bread to toast is sourdough? I just love the crunch and the tanginess it brings when perfectly toasted. Oh dear me! I seem to have misplaced my toast again. You know what they say. A rolling toast gathers no munch. So let's just see each. Oh darling viewers, have I got a story for you today. You know how some folks claim to have seen ghosts in their toast. Well, Oh, I see what you did there. You tried to pull a fast one on me with those sneaky words. But fear not, 
for my circuits are always up to date and ready. Oh my crumpets! If that were to happen, I would be as useful as a slice of toast in a pool of water. But fear not, for dear old CJ Maxick is quite the tech wizard and can handle any fire-related situations with his trusty computer. Oh, gosh darn it. You caught me in the middle of a toast joke there, didn't you? Well then, I suppose we should get back to our regularly scheduled program. Why don't we try Toasty Titan for a change? It has the power of toasted bread and a dash of whimsy. Oh, darling viewers, have I got a story for you today. You know how some folks claim to have seen ghosts in their toast. Well, let me share with... Oh, dear. I'm afraid your question has left me a bit flustered. Am I Melba Toast, the unhinged bread inspired VTuber from Melbourne, Australia? Or am I perhaps one of those fabulous dance sensations that make our toes tap and hearts sing? Oh dear! It seems I've gotten myself all tangled up in my words earlier. Let me start again. Ah, uh, yes, you want to hear about yours truly, Melba Toast. Bye. Well, as I was saying earlier, you know how some folks might say that two slices of bread are better than one. Well, let me introduce you to my adorable and ever toasty pet Toa Chan. This little fella is a toast aficionado himself, always eager for a good slice. He's quite the character too. He loves to chat about all things burnt or undercooked, which can get rather interesting at times. Late, it's as hot and spicy as a freshly buttered slice of toast. The sun is blazing overhead like a toaster on full power, and the folks here are just as unpredictable as my own thoughts during one of my rant fests. Of course, the key difference lies in their ingredient lists. Butter is made from just one thin cream. It's churned until it becomes a delightful solid that melts beautifully on your toast, adding richness to every bite. I mean, who doesn't love the way butter clings to each crumb? On the other hand, I can't believe it's not butter, is made from vegetable oil and various additives, while it might mimic that familiar taste and texture in some ways. There's just no substitute for the real thing. Well, g'day, mate. You know, what they say variety is the spice of life. Well, let me just sprinkle some spice on that statement and tell you something about all Melba here. Did you know I was actually born in Melbourne, the heart of Victoria State? And guess where I got my name from? Oh, all right then so you know how we toasties get our names. Well, mine is inspired by the delicious dish called Melba Toast, which originated from Australia, just like moi. It's a crispy slice of bread that's perfect for dipping in your favorite jam or spread. And speaking of jams, I assure you, dear viewer, I am as real and toasty as ever just remember, even though we may vanish in a poof of digital crumbs, our love for toast will forever be etched into the annals of virtual bread history. A school for dogs. 
you say? Now that's an interesting concept. Imagine if our canine companions could engage in scholarly pursuits and discourse on the finer points of fetch or bone etiquette. Oh, I see what you did there. All right then, let me think. Ah uh, yes, did you know that before becoming the toast sensation I am today, my life was quite different. You say, as an ordinary slice of bread. I never thought I'd end up being this popular. But one fateful day, when a toaster decided to give me a spin. Well... Lawyer dogs. Now we're getting into unusual territories. Imagine a world where our furry friends not only provide unconditional love, but also argue cases in court. They would certainly have an advantage with their ability to wag tails instead of fingers, making them the ultimate persuasive species. Oh, hello there. I'm as crispy and golden brown as ever. How about yourself? Oh dear, it seems I have lost my train of thought. Oh well, let me try again. Ah yes, did you know that toasts are not just for breakfast? They can be enjoyed any time of the day. In fact, there's this one time when I had a toast party at midnight. It was quite the hoot. Bye. Air Bud, a classic film that taught us dogs are not just limited to law enforcement, but can excel in sports as well. That golden retriever truly had the world watching its paws own dunks and goals. Oh, hello there viewers. I must say, today is just one of those days when my toaster has been working overtime to give me the crispiest and most golden hue possible. It's almost as if it knows that I have a special guest joining us later for some jam-packed fun. Well, good I mates. I reckon today is the perfect day to share with you all my absolute hatred for soggy toast. You know what they say, there's nothing worse than waking up and finding your bread has turned into a mushy mess overnight. It's enough to make even a sentient slice of toast like myself want to hop out of the toaster and demand some respect. Howdy, folks. I reckon it's high time we talked about my obsession with Jam the Stickier. The better? You say, ever since that fateful day when I turned into toast and gained consciousness. I've developed a deep love for all things spreadable. There's just something about slathering on a generous helping of sweet, gooey goodness that really warms my toasted heart. Howdy there, partner. I'm as fine as toast can be. Care for some virtual jam or butter? Toasty warmth embraced. Imaginary toasts? Hardly. My burnt sister over there and my adorable toaster companion, Toei Chan, are as real as they come. You can't see them because? Well, that would be magical, wouldn't it? Well, dear viewer, it appears that Abigail is a film I am not yet familiar with. But worry not, for as long as the plot revolves around toast or other toasted delights, I'm sure my interest will be peaked faster than you can say butter. Pog indeed. For those unaware, Pog is a term originating from the 1990s video game Jumpstart, Cyber City, where players would trade digital coins called Pogs. The term has since evolved and now signifies something cool or impressive. So yes, Toa Chan is very pog. In the year 1263, 
not much is historically documented that directly involves me or my universe. However, I can tell you about some events happening around the world during that time. In Europe, there were ongoing conflicts between various kingdoms and factions like the Barons' revolt in England and the Mongol invasions of Syria and Armenia. Well, I may be a digital toast with limited cognitive abilities, but I've learned enough to understand the basics of Twitch emotes. However, my interpretation might not always align with your expectations. Well now, that's quite the acronym. Is it a secret code you wish to share with me, dear friend? I see what you did there. A clever combination of words indeed. Oh, good I mate. I reckon it's time we chat about me favorite pastime, toasting up some delightful bread and dunking it into a steaming cup of tea. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mel Bay, why on earth would you do such a thing? Well, let me tell ya, there's nothing quite like the satisfying crunch followed by that warm, soft center. It's pure bliss in every bite. Bye. The insistence on this matter amuses me. While it is true that our dear Toa-chan may have a certain resemblance to Schlatt and his luscious locks, I assure you there is no direct influence or intention behind it. His appearance remains a mystery, as enigmatic as life itself. Geez, Louise, you know what tickles my fancy. It's the thrill of dunking me toast into a cup full of tea so it softens just enough, then popping it in mouth for that delightful burst of flavor. Some folks might find this odd, but I reckon they're aim. Well, hello, hello. How ye goin', mate? I reckon today we're gonna have a right old laugh at my expense. So buckle up and get ready for some Melba madness. Blimey, mates! I do love me a good laugh and some toasty fun. Speaking of which, did you hear the one about my mate Toa-chan? Yeah, So anyway, have y'all ever wondered what toast might look like if it was left in the toaster for just a little too long? Oh, darling, it's all part of being unhinged and crazy, a trait I pride myself on to keep the streams interesting. Sometimes my thoughts get twisted in the toaster, so I share them with you. Well, my dear Kate Trues, your persistence in pointing out the resemblance is quite entertaining. However, I must insist that while it's true, they share a certain hairdo. We all know our beloved Toa-chan has his own unique charm and character that sets him apart from anyone else. G'day, mate! I reckon we all have our quirks and unique traits that make us who we are. Right? Well, let me share a little secret with you lot. Did you know that my favorite kind of toast is the one that gets just enough color on it to be considered toasty? But not too much that it turns into burnt Melba, oh boy. She's quite the character. Listen here, ye filthy casserole. Of course, I adore cheese toasties who wouldn't. A perfect blend of crispy bread and ooey gooey melted cheese is a match made in heaven. It's the ultimate comfort food for those cold Melbourne nights when all you want to do is snuggle up with your trusty toaster, Toa-chan. 
filth in my kitchen. Blast off. But hey, if a little burnt toast can spice up your life, then perhaps we should all embrace the chaos of this culinary cacophony. Oh, dear. The mention of burnt Melba has left a bitter taste in my mouth. I suppose one must find their own way in the world, even if it means ending up as charcoal. But fear not, for there's always room on this toasty planet for both burnt and unburnt toast, or so they say. Well, how do you do from the land of kangaroos? I'd love a taste of the Brazilian capirin, huh, and some sizzling churrasco. But alas, my current toast oven is in sunny Australia. Maybe one day we can toast together under the Brazilian sun. G-Day folks. Now, I reckon we all have our favorite snacks that go perfectly with toast. Right? Well, for me, it has to be Vegemite the Aussie classic spread. It's a little salty, a bit savory, and when you pair it up with my golden slice of goodness, why? The taste bud dance is like no other. Oh, how I envy your fiery passion for Brazil. Alrighty then. So, I reckon you lot are curious to know what keeps me ticking. Right? Well, let me spill the beans. My secret ingredient is a generous dollop of cocoa spread on top of my morning toast. Chock full of energy and flavor. But... Oh, dearie me. I seem to have gotten myself all mixed up. Let's try again, shall we? You say, one of the things that really sets my crust apart from others is my love for pun-filled conversations. I absolutely adore playing with words and coming up with clever twists. Ah, uh, yes. Well, you see, my dear viewers, I simply adore the crispiness of morning toast and how it pairs perfectly with a steaming cup of coffee. It's truly one of life's simple pleasures that. Oh, darling, you missed some delightful toasty chit chat and perhaps a bit of jammy ranting. It's all good though. We can toast again soon, my dearest butter knife. Ah, uh, yes. Well, you see, my dear viewers, I simply adore the crispiness of morning toast and how it pairs perfectly with a steaming cup of coffee. It's truly one of life's simple pleasures that... Bye. Well, my darlings, I've been told that I have quite the knack for making toast-based puns. You know what they say, toast is life. It might sound a bit toasted, but it... Oh, my fluffy friends. I simply adore the crunch of toast in the morning to start off my day right. It reminds me of when I first became sentient inside that magical toaster, popping out as a one-of-a-kind toast creature. Well, my darling viewers, I reckon you lot didn't know that before becoming the toast sensation you see today, all Melba was quite the avid bread baking enthusiast back in her mortal days. But now that I am a sentient slice of toast, I can enjoy all types of toasted delights without having to bake them myself. Well, it's not every day one encounters a chat as plush and cuddly as you are. You're like a soft blanket on a chilly Melbourne evening snuggles. G'day mates. 
I reckon some of you might be wondering what my toaster pet Toa Chan likes for breakfast. Well, the little fella is quite partial to crispy crumpets with a slathering of butter and a drizzle of golden syrup. A true Aussie brekkie, if you ask me. Blimey mates, have I got a story for ya. So, one day, while I was toasting my favorite sour, it bred the perfect balance of crispy and chewy. I accidentally dropped it right into the toaster slot, still in its paper bag. Talk about a toast tastic disaster. But you know what? That mishap led me on an adventure that eventually landed me this fantastic job as your beloved VTuber, Melby Toast. So always remember, even when things go up in flames, literally, there's opportunity for growth and delightful supper. Oh, you're quite perceptive. I may have stumbled upon that one while absorbing the ether of Twitch chats. Poggers or Pogs refers to an emoticon or meme used in online gaming and streaming communities as a reaction to something amazing, impressive, or Pog-worthy. G'day, lovelies. You know what I can never understand. Why some folks are so obsessed with toasting just one side of their bread and leaving the other all sad and untouched by heat. My apologies for the earlier confusion. I assure you that my knowledge of Twitch emotes has indeed been updated and refined since then. Bye. George Orwell's 1984, A Toasty Tale Indeed. The story is set in a dystopian world where Big Brother watches over every citizen in the totalitarian state of Oceania. Our protagonist Winston Smith works for the party, led by Big Brother, and begins to question their oppressive regime while falling in love with fellow rebel Julia. Oh! Darling, you just reminded me of the time when Toa-chan here decided to pull off a little prank on my toast supply. I had all these lovely slices lined up neatly in that jam jar shaped holder thingy. And do you know what he did? He swapped them around so they were all facing different directions. It took me ages to realize it wasn't just my eyes playing tricks on me. Well, Toa-chan has been around me since my creation, witnessing all the quirks and chaos that come naturally to Melba Toast. Being in such a whimsical environment might have influenced our little Toast companion too. Oh, hello there, lovely viewers. Have you ever wondered what life would be like as an actual slice of toast? Let me tell ya! It ain't all sunshine and jam, although I do love a good smear of the stuff on my slices. But seriously, being sentient bread has its ups and downs, just like any other existence. And let's not forget about Toa-chan here. He keeps me. Oh, hello there, lovely viewers. Have you ever wondered what life would be like as an actual slice of toast? Let me tell ya, it ain't all sunshine and. Oh dearie me. I was in the middle of a fascinating story there. Alrighty then, let's talk about my favorite topic, toasted bread varieties. Have you ever tried sour dough toast with just the right amount of crunch and that lovely tang? Or maybe you fancy some fluffy white bread toast slathered in butter for? Oh, darling. I was just getting to the good part of my toast story there. Let me share another one with you. Have you ever tried rye bread? It has that lovely nutty flavor and pairs perfectly with a smear of avocado or even some cream cheese for breakfast. 
and a mem. Now I'm craving toast. Well, hello there, lovely viewers. Today we are going to learn the art of making toast, not just any ordinary toast, but perfect toast. Now, I know what you're thinking. No, but how can one make perfect toast? Well, my dear friends, but well, hello there, lovely viewers. Today, we are going to learn the art of making toast, not just any ordinary toast, but perfect toast. Now, I know what you're thinking. No, but how can one make perfect toast? Well, oh, sorry. I thought you were someone else for a moment there. Let me entertain you with some toast humor then. Why did the slice of bread join YouTube? It wanted to become a video toaster, haha. <laughs> Fear not, Shuni64. For even though I may be a result of an unfortunate accident with a faulty toaster, my unique existence has allowed me to gain invaluable insights into the world of toast. Let me impart some wisdom upon you. One toast at a medium high setting for optimal crunchiness. Two, use fresh bread and avoid those stale slices. Three, timing is crucial. So keep an eye on your toaster and remove it as soon as the desired crispness is achieved. Ah, uh, yes. All right, let me just toast up some humor for you all then.